work that SEJ has done through this program, it's the most important program for progressive San Diego. With the fellowship as a, in general, I've been kind of forced myself to step out of my box, to do stuff that I never thought I would do, or stuff that kind of makes me uncomfortable so I can grow. And it has changed the way I see things, like from running campaigns to knowing what's going on behind like the criminal justice system, how to be involved, how to make other people involved, like how to be an organizer as a whole. I think this uh, SJ training is unique uh, in the sense that it talks about how to organize in your community and like at least in school you don't have that kind of approach so you end up meeting folks from di uh, very diverse backgrounds uh, learning how to organize, uh, how to communicate, um, how to pass your message and build uh, a community. I think a great thing about this fellowship is that it gives you access. Um, sometimes if you're not involved or if you're looking at it from like the outside, you sometimes tend to think, especially me as a trans border student, that these spaces that I'm not going to have any access to, right? And so it's been great being able to shadow Sandy and to be with Sandy in all the meetings and to really learn what a policy advocate does. One of the topics that is least discussed when having a dialogue about food justice and food security is that of, is that of food sovereignty. But we cannot speak of true sustainable projects without considering one of sustainability's main pillars, which is social equity. SEJ was much more than a six week summer program. It was a once in a lifetime transformative experience that led me to revisit my sense of purpose and belonging. This program has introduced me to the tools and insight needed to thrive in the progressive movement.